Hello everybody, today I'll be sharing my updated raw hunting horn build. To make this monster of a build, you'll need the Horn of the Indomitable Plus, from our good friend Anjaneth, we choose this horn as it has really high attack, as well as a level 2 rampage deco for anti-species jewels, and a great amount of white sharpness, as well as with some further augmenting a very respectable amount of purple sharpness. For the armor pieces, you'll need the Archfiend's armor Serato in the helm, the Archfiend armor Borlo for the chest, as well as the Omnio Teco for the gloves, the Omnio Atiobi for the waist, and finishing off the armor with the Storge or Arc Greaves. As for the Talisman, we'll just be using any Talisman that can reach Attack Boost level 3. Here are the decorations you'll need. Welcome to pause it as there's quite a few to look through. Moving on to the skills, this will give you... We have Resentment at level 5 for 25 raw attack while we have recoverable health which should be most of the time thanks to bloodlust agitator at level 5 for a further 20 raw attack and 15 percent affinity while the monster is enraged attack boost level 7 for 10 raw attack as well as 10 percent more raw attack overall weakness exploit at level 3 for 50 percent increased affinity against monster weak points maximum might at level 3 to give a 30 percent affinity boost while we are at max stamina for a short time coalescence at level Level 3 for 18 raw attack while we are afflicted by a status or ailment. Burst at level 1 to grant 5 more raw attack per consecutive hit for 5 hits. Then on the final hit, it grants you another 10 raw attack for a short time. Bloodlust at level 1 to grant 10 more raw attack while we are afflicted with bloodlust, but once you overcome it, it will instead grant 20% affinity. And of course, it wouldn't be a hunting horn set without one level of horn maestro to increase our overall performance speed and shockwaves damage. As for augmenting, you've probably noticed I had level 3 slugger and some evade extender on my set. Getting these on your armor pieces will prove incredibly valuable as they'll heavily affect your survivability as well as making it easier to get monster knockdowns to use all of this damage. So augmenting any of your decorations onto your armor pieces or the utility skills themselves are incredibly valuable as well as upgrading level 1 decoration slots to level 2 will provide the same result. Also consider swapping some decorations that you do get augments for into handicraft decorations instead as more per Purple sharpness will be very good for your sustain in an encounter. As for weapon augments, since this horn already has anti-species rampage decoration and we no longer need affinity thanks to our setup, you can also slot in level 3 attack boost for 15 more raw attack. And that has been my updated raw hunting horn build for title update 2 of Monster Hunter Sunbreak. As always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.